Cynthia and John took Sam home. They played truth or dare. They all had a few drinks and lots of fun. After a while, Sam slept off. They tried to wake him up, but there was no response from him. They tried and tried, but Sam laid there lifeless. Cynthia and John stood there, wondering what could have happened to him. That night, they decided to take his body and bury him somewhere. And so they left the house. They drove for a while. Finally, they found a perfect spot. A bush on the outskirts of town. And they started digging. They dug for a while. Finally, they buried Sam. Meanwhile, someone stood there, recording the whole thing. As the boat drove home, they wondered what could have happened to Sam. But they eventually moved on with their lives. Cynthia would go to the mall hunting for beautiful babes. John would go to the gym and hunt for guys. They would invite them to their home and play their usual crazy games. This continued for a while, but Cynthia and John weren't getting the vibe they wanted. They yearned for the street hustlers. But they didn't want to go back there after what happened to Sam. They wondered if the hustlers would recognize them. Few days passed and they yearned for something very crazy. Something only the street hustlers could give. And so they said to themselves, It's been over one week. I don't think anyone would recognize us. Of course, they will never recognize us. These people meet countless customers here every day. So how would they recognize us? Honey, let's go, Joel. So they decided to take the wrecks. They drove to the hustlers area and they picked someone. The guy demanded for his pay and they immediately paid him. The moment he collected the money. Madam Abego, when I first look familiar, maybe when I carry one of my colleagues come here, I think last week or so. Now, 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 when I first look familiar, since that day we never see my colleague. Who after my colleague now, where did? Excuse me, please, I don't know what you're talking about, honey. Please, I still this place. So they quickly drove off. Oh my God, honey. That was really scary. He can't do anything. What proof does he even have? They are all stupid boys. Let's go home. Oh my god, Oni, I can't go home. You know I'm ovulating. I really need to have crazy fun tonight. Please, let's go to the club and bake someone. Okay, I got you, my baby. So they drove to the club. They picked up a very handsome guy and paid him for the night. Few days later... John and Cynthia decided to go on a little vacation to ease their minds. They both flew to a very beautiful island. While on vacation, they had so much fun. They took so many beautiful pictures. They tried so many delicacies. They had so much fun. One day, while they were out chilling, Cynthia received a message. A video of her and John digging a pit and burying Sam. She immediately showed the message to John. John angrily collected the phone and he dialed the sender's number. Hey, what's this? What do you want? Name your price and leave us alone. Or when you calm down, I know say you did vacation. If you know what's in good for you, better come back, make me talk business. John and Cynthia became so devastated. Their vacation was cut short. They had no option but to fly back into the country. The moment they landed, they called Mr. Anonymous. Hey, we're back. Just name your price. What do you want? We're back. Name your price. <laughs> I need 20 million naira first thing tomorrow morning. Nothing less than 12 p.m. If you not waste my time, if you not try to play smart, you not go see you not say for social media. You not no try me, you. just follow my instruction, carry the money JJ can give me. Please, I'm begging you, don't post it on social media. I promise I and my husband will come fast into my morning and give you the money, please. So the next day, Cynthia and John drove off very early in the morning and they dropped the bag of money as instructed. When they got back home, they called Mr. Anonymous. We have done our part. Please, now it is time to do yours. Kindly delete the video. No, while I just delete the video. Now, 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 I don't delete her. Cynthia and John thanked Mr. Anonymous and moved on with their lives. They became so happy again. They thought Mr. Anonymous had deleted the videos. 
so they continued with their usual escapades. Three days later, Mr. Anonymous called again. If we are not waiting good for our body, we will carry 100 million come for the usual spot, else we are not waiting to happen. Cynthia and John broke down in tears, but they had no option but to deliver the money. They became trapped and controlled by Mr. Anonymous. The more they delivered, the more Mr. Anonymous asked. He kept asking for more and more. Cynthia and John continued delivering cash to Mr. Anonymous, and Mr. Anonymous kept asking for more. They became so depressed. They were running low on phones, but Mr. Anonymous continued sending messages, threatening and warning them. One evening, they both summoned courage and dealt the police. Cynthia confessed and explained everything. The police swung into action immediately. They tracked Mr. Anonymous and arrested him. With the help of his confession, a whole lot was revealed. Sam was still alive. The whole thing was planned by Sam and his friends. Sam took something that night. It made him sleep for several hours, making it look like he was lifeless. As John and Cynthia drove that night, looking for a place to bury Sam, his friend Mr. Anonymous followed them. He watched and recorded everything. The moment Cynthia and John left, he removed Sam from the pits. And that was how they started blackmailing John and Cynthia. Eventually, Sam and his friends were sentenced to five years in prison. John and Cynthia were also arrested, and they both spent three months in prison. As three months passed, Cynthia and John became free again. They immediately went to the church and asked God for forgiveness. Dear God, please forgive us. I don't really know how to pray, but I will learn. My husband does not know how to pray too, but we are willing to learn. Please forgive us and draw us closer to you. We are ready to change. Please help us become a better person. We learned a lot in just three months in prison. Please God forgive us and draw us close to you. Amen. John and Cynthia turned a new leaf. They drew closer to God and they focused more on their businesses. They also decided to have a baby. When the baby arrived, they were so happy. They dedicated the baby to God. Their bond remained stronger and better.